Hello, 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 and welcome back for some more winter adventure uh, projects with Hunter Tuned. Um, in this episode, we are going to be finishing studying the tires on the CRX and, um, you know, doing some prep work to make sure that they hold air. And I'm kind of going to show you uh, what I did to the tires and then how I am going about sealing them. Because obviously, if you put screws through your tires, they're not going to hold air. Now, on the last set of studded tires I did was a few years back, and I didn't do anything on the inside of the tire. All I did was put a bunch of green slime inside of the tire uh, through the tire valve. Just regular green slime you buy at Fleet Farm or whatever. To summarize, what I did is I picked up a set of 13-inch Steelies from a buddy, and it had three good tires and one blown-out tire. So I actually had a... Uh, same size tire sitting here, so I used one mismatched tire, but it doesn't really matter when you're studying everything. Uh, still the same size, but it's just different brand of tire. And then I uh, dismounted all the wheels, uh, and then pretty much spent 12 to 14 hours putting screws in the inside of the tire all the way out. Just used drywall screws that you can buy at Fleet Farm, Menards, Lowe's, any place like that. And I put about... 8,500 screws total in to the tires. Um, now I'll show you guys what I did to the tires and uh, yeah, we'll skip to that right about now. All right, so here is the tires that are finished. That's a lot of screws in there. Now you have to be very, very careful when you handle these things because they are extremely sharp and will cut your hand or leg or whatever wide open so you have to be extremely careful when you're handling uh, this kind of tire. Alright, hopefully you guys can see I'm in my basement so there's not a whole lot of light but you can see all the screws through the inside out that I installed. I didn't film any of it because <laughs> it's extremely boring but this is the final product of what everything is going to look like when you stud, if you do it this way. Now, a lot of people are saying that these studs are sticking out too far, but from my experience, if you use the one inch drywall screws, I've never had a problem, and I'm hoping that this is going to be the same scenario where we should have no issues. I ran this same style uh, setup on a Civic hatchback that made 450 horsepower to the wheels and I never ripped a single screw out, um, but those tires did leak a little bit, and I'm hoping to fix that uh, with this technique right now. All right, so how I'm going to be sealing the tires so they don't leak air, or at least don't leak bad, um, I'm actually going to be using Flex Seal. And this stuff is pretty much just like a rubberized coating, and supposedly can float a boat and <laughs> do all sorts of cool stuff. So. I'm hoping that it will work just fine for this application considering it is a rubber kind of maker. It kind of turns into rubber after it dries. So it's kind of just like adding a lining inside of the tire so the screws do not leak. I'm going to just pretty much paint and coat the inside of the tire as much as possible and uh, hopefully this thing won't leak. I've never used this stuff before but I actually had it laying around so it didn't cost me anything to try it so why not try it right? So we'll just coat this nice and thick and it takes two to three hours to dry, and then it takes about 12 to 24 hours to fully cure. So I'm gonna get it all coated up and then I'm gonna leave it sit overnight before I go and actually mount the tires. All right, so I got everything flex sealed and all the tires are sealed up here. As you can see, there's the flex seal kind of just chilling in there. probably going to come out here like every hour and 
you know, you just brush around the flex seal to make sure that it's not going to clump up at all because as you see, the tire, you know, obviously some of it's going to be on the top and it's going to drip down and then clump on the bottom. So I'm going to try to rotate the tires around while it dries and hopefully it all works. This is the uh, Asylum Bay in Oshkosh here, and uh, this is usually the first bay that I go actually drive on. I don't see any car or like tire tracks from a car yet, so I don't think I'm going to quite get out on the lake yet, uh, just because it's dark and uh, nobody's really out here. So if I do end up like, you know, getting into a sticky situation, nobody's really here. So it's probably just best that I stay off of the lake at least until daylight, but uh, from word of fishermen and uh, some of the local ice guys, uh, this bay has around 13 inches of ice. So that would be plenty enough for this little CRX to go out there. But like I said, I don't really wanna go out there when nobody's down here and uh, you know, whatnot. Just smart, I guess, that way. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, it's the next day now. I got the tires uh, all gooped up with the flex seal and uh, now they should be dry um, and I'm on my way to go mount them up. So I'm hoping that they don't leak and you know they'll hold 30 psi or whatever I decide to run. <clears throat> Hopefully I don't cut the crap out of my hands and feet and legs and arms and everything because, I mean, just handling them last night. I scuffed up my hand pretty good, and then I got my leg, I cut my pants. Yeah. Like I said, guys, gotta be kinda careful when you're uh, dealing with, you know, 7,500 to 9,000 drywall screws in a tire. But, yeah, so uh, let's go get these suckers mounted up. You got something for me, dog? You got something for me or what? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, oh you got yeah. some gloves? <laughs> no, I'm yeah. not going to die? No. All right, all right. All right, fucking mint. Do it. I can do it, man. <laughs>
I'm not. Yeah. Screw that. Yeah, if these things fall over, I am not saving them. Studley. Studley. I got her. Hang on, we gotta show them the first victim. Oh, yeah. What the fuck is that? A Nerf gun fucking thing? Probably. <laughs> well, uh, let's go out here and see how this is. First time driving on the lake this year. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's always a little scary coming out here the first time, but but there's some trucks out here. Looks like the lake is ready for the CRX to come and tear it up. Now, I got the tires all mounted up now and uh, they seem like they're holding air very well. Uh, it's been a few hours now and they're holding 40 PSI. So we're doing all right so far. Hopefully they hold up when we're out on the lake. So be, uh, be sure to stay tuned for the next video, guys. I'm gonna be taking the CRX out on the lake and actually testing these tires out. So uh, yeah, if you guys enjoy the video, please hit the like button, subscribe if you guys are new, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.